Okay. So where do you want to put it? Right here. Okay. That gives us this length we need. Because right. that's n. It gives us the right length. Yeah. But what were you trying to make? I'm trying to make a side. Anything special about that side? That it has to have a length of AP. Okay. But maybe... Maybe I can take this triangle and put it here. Because this has this has length n. Okay. All right. But that because we can't use this triangle, so that gets us the the length we need. Okay. So it doesn't say the rectangle has a side length of AP. It says the side of the rectangle is AP. So that means one of the corners of the rectangle, of the new rectangle, is at A, and another one's at P. Oh, I thought I read the side length it was AP. Okay. So it's... So then we'll probably have to move this triangle, DRT, down to where this where Q, triangle QBP is. Okay right now. All right. It, very interesting. So now we just take this triangle, pick it up, and move it down there. How do I know that fits right into that spot? Because we we, were, we figured out that this triangle and that triangle were congruent. Okay. Now we're cooking with butter. So... So now this is gone. So we've moved this chunk down to there. Okay. Now how are we going to make the rest of our new rectangle? Well, if we could figure out what this length was, well, actually it's, it's y minus 2m. This length qs is y minus 2m. Okay, do you remember the other two things you, you, you knew? It says uh, use I, the above facts. So I, you've, you've currently used that this triangle and that triangle were congruent. Well, I, I know that... This is, this length is also x. So the first thing we did is we proved triangle BQP was the same as triangle RDT. And then we proved DQ. DQ was, was PT. Would you would you draw along DQ? DQ. DQ was the same as PT. Okay. And then we used CQ is AR. CQ and A R. Okay. So that's those are the facts we're trying to use. Hmm. Well, I haven't used that C Q is A R yet. Okay. So this is A R and this is C Q. Right. Hmm. But how would we use those to re to reform this into a new rectangle? Okay. Well, what have you done so far? Well, I've moved this triangle to this point. Okay. So one of the sides is AP. Okay. Well, what do you think this new rectangle is going to look like if you were to draw it? I think it's gonna be like flatter. Well, this is this is the AP side. Okay, draw draw it with the AP. Draw it. Put your pencil on AP. That's gonna be one side of the rectangle. Okay, where's the next side of the rectangle gonna go? Well, do you think? I think it it's gonna go up to S. Okay, and where what's the next side of the rectangle gonna be? It's gonna go like that. So trace out what you think the new rectangle is going to look like. Okay. And you've picked up this part and moved it down to there already. Well, if we could, if we could chop that in half, then maybe we could put this this rectangle down there and that triangle there. Which triangle there? Like if we chop this in half, we could put that there and this there. But we can't chop it in half. Well, we could, but I, I don't know. I don't know if that would work or not work. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we're at five minutes again.